you on to my channel so for today we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut a cone dress now for your cone dress your cone dress could be at the waist you could attach your cone to your waist you could attach your cone to your knee length your cone could be at the sleeve it actually depends now wherever you want to attach your cone the same process or the same steps applies to it so i'm not going to limit this video to just a cone at the knee or just a cone at the waist so the same method applies to it okay so now what are the basic measurements required for this um class you need your waist measurement so let's say your cone is to start at the waist it simply means that you need your waist measurement right if your cone is to start at the knee it simply means that you need your knee measurement if your cone is to start at your sleeve you want to attach your cone to your sleeve it simply means that you need your sleeve measurement so wherever you want to attach your cone to simply means that is the measurement you are going to use so for today's class mine is going to be at the waist so i have my waist measurement and my my cone length is eight inches so if yours is at the knee let's say your knee is 30 inches and your length is 15 or 20 inches that becomes the length if you want it to be at the waist a, a skirt or a gown you measure your length so now the waist measurement another thing you have to take note of is and that's how many panel do you want it to be how many panel it could be 10 it could be 12 it could be 8 it could be 6 it depends okay i don't i'm not limiting this video to a particular picture so all you have to do is to discover or think of how many cone you want it to be how many panel do you want it to be so for me i want about 10 panel so it simply means divide your measurements by the number of panel you want it to be so mine is 28 divided by 10 i have 2.8 so if you want it to be 12 panel you have divided by 12 you want it to be six panel you have your measurement divided by six do you guys understand so for our length i'm just going to add one because i'm going to attach a band to mine so i have nine inches so basically these are the basic measurements required if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel what are you waiting for click and drop button and let's move to the fabric so what are the material you need you need a pair of scissors your tape measure you need your chalk then your lining or your interface i'm using this lining and then you need your ad stay okay so this is ad stay yeah i hope you guys can see it it's very hard so this is your ad stay if you want me to make a video on different types of stay and when to use different types of stay so just drop your comments down below okay so i'm going to set this aside and of course i'm making use of this african print but for this video um if i'm using this chalk on it is not going to be visible i hope you guys can see it it's not going to be very visible so i'm going to mark that later on my own so for the essence of this video i'm going to make use of this plain fabric and because of the chalk like i explained earlier on so the first thing i have to do is to fold your fabric this way in a triangular shape this is your fabric just get the tip fold it this way so consider the length okay so when you fold it we have 2.8 as our measurement so this is 2.8 you fold your 2.8 again this is 2.8 so you fold your 2.8 again to get this middle point so why are we folding it is because the fabric is folded again the fabric is folded into two so i'll just place my measurement this way to see where i have my measurement so this is it so this black um dress is actually makes the marking visible so now our length is what nine inches our length is nine inches so i'm going to mark 11 inches this is our nine inches here so what you just do now is to bring it down like give it that curve at the lower side give it that curve at the lower side and then you connect it this way so can you see so you have like a triangle shape 
you have like a triangle shape so cut it out cut it out yeah so after cutting it out this is what i have you guys can see you have the shape already so i'm going to make it of this piece don't forget that this cone dress is um this cone dress is 10 pieces so i'm going to use this one piece to cut all my pieces okay now if yours is going to have zip at the back it simply means that for the two extra you consider your zip allowance okay so i'm going to go ahead use this to cut my 10 panels and show you guys how what next you have to do so let's say for where you want to place your cone for the last two let's assume that you need a zip okay let's assume that you want it to be a gown and then you need a zip you just create your allowance for your zip so you can leave like one inch this way and then you cut it just so the last two pieces we have your zip allowance okay here guys so this is serious work so now let's count our cone you guys can see the shape already so we have one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so this is what you have this is our ten piece so now we are going to set this aside again so we are going to make use of our art stay because this art stay if you check your art stay you have like they call it stiffener in some places so when you check it it has this gummy part don't mind my nails it has this gummy part and it has this um smooth part so you are going to make use of this part that that shines that has like gum okay so now we are going to open it up again and we are going to cut this we are going to cut this gum stay for every of the panel okay we are going to cut it for every of the panel so i'm going to go ahead and place it this way and then i'm going to cut it out so after cutting it out for the 10 um, panel i'll show you guys what next you have to do so guys this is a whole lot of work so you are going to cut your art stay into 10 pieces also 10 pieces also so guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe so the next thing we have to do now is to cut our lining or your interface whatever you want to use to turn it so all you have to do is to fold it again in the cone shape because we are going to um, use it to cover up all this. So you place your cone again this way. So you guys, I just made this video just because of you. So please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, okay? This is real work. So you place it this way. And then we are going to cut this interface again into 10 pieces, okay? Because this is what we are going to use to turn it out, okay? So this is one piece. Let me go ahead and cut the 10 piece and show you guys what next we have to do. So guys, this is serious work, okay? Just have to be patient. So we also cut this interfacing into 10 piece. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten so who what you have to do now let me just explain because i'm to iron them you are going to take this your art stay so this gum part or this shining part of it you place your fabric like this you can see i left allowance while cutting all this yep and then you iron it okay so you are going to go ahead, place it like this, and iron it for the 10 pieces. So after ironing it, I will see you guys at the sewing room where we are going to join it together. We've ironed it already. What we did here was just to 
iron our adnets to it don't forget i said you are going to make use of the shining part so you can see it's firm so i'm just going to go ahead and trim up this excess and see you guys at the sewing room okay so don't forget to like share and subscribe after um, turning if we turn this about 10 of them the next thing we have to do now is to sew it because we have to connect this um, two parts together so let me set this aside so I will sew it from this edge to this edge I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is what it looks like. You can see it. We have the shape coming up. So you just go ahead and iron it properly. So the round curve like this, the round shape here or the edge at this point will be equal to where you want to attach it to. So let's say you want to attach it to a gown. So this will be equal to your knee length. If you want to attach it to a sleeve, or a waist um so for today let's attach it to this um band okay so i'll go ahead and turn this band and show you guys what next you have to do so we'll go ahead and fix this band so you can attach yours to a skirt to a sleeve so i'll just do it and show you guys what it looks like so guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so this is what it looks like you guys you can see the phone already so let me just put it on my mannequin so i attached mine to a belt because i want it as a form of peplum so this is beautiful right so i'll see you guys okay Guys, this is what we have. So I attached mine to a band so to give me a form of peplum. So you can attach yours to your gown, to your sleeve. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.